In my opinion, 2017 wasn't that bad. Hey there, this is the One Boom, and today I'm coming back. You guys saw my Shooter Saturday episode where I went and played Fallout. That was a ton of fun to edit. I know they don't get a ton of views, but they are a lot of fun to make, and they always make me laugh. So if you guys want to go check that out, go for it. So yeah, I'm back from my week-long break, or almost week-long break, and I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I got a little bit burnt on the whole YouTube thing, the whole gaming thing for a second. So I decided to step away from gaming communities and Twitter for the most part and YouTube and just enjoy some of the games that I had bought but never played or haven't beaten yet, hang out with family, enjoy the holidays, watch Netflix. And overall, it was a good couple of days and I would do it again. Probably will do that at least once or twice a year. But since it's New Year's Eve for me right now, I'm going to go have dinner with my family. I would just like to make a short video about my hopes for 2018. And also, I'm going to try to clear out my folders, so you might see some random gameplay here that you don't normally see. I'm just trying to clear out my folders for the new year, so bear with that. So my first hope for 2018 is that a game truly grabs me. In 2017, the game that grabbed me was Final Fantasy XVII. In fact, I stayed up to almost 3 in the morning playing it last night. I am still enjoying the hell out of it. I love the endgame content. I just love it. I love the characters, the music. I don't feel ashamed about it. But hopefully a first-person shooter in 2018 grabs me. The new Call of Duty, the new Battlefield, if there's a new Halo. Hopefully Far Cry 5 lives up to the expectations in my mind. But it's a Ubisoft game, so I'm going to have to, you know, hold my expectations a little bit. But 2017 and 16 didn't really have any shooters that I loved. I liked Infinite Warfare. I think it was a good game. I, I just don't love it. I don't love it. Love it. You know what I mean? Those kind of games that are in your mind even when you're not playing them. I've gone a couple days now without even touching Call of Duty World War II. It's not because I don't like it, it's just, it's not grabbing me. It's not pulling me into my screen. Neither is Battlefield 1, and as much as I love Battlefield 4, it's an old game, and I've played the hell out of it. Unfortunately, and also not unfortunately, the best game of 2018 for me will probably be Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm immediately biased towards it already. I'm immediately biased towards it already. I need a speechwriter. I'm already excited for it. It's kind of like how I feel about Star Wars movies and Spider-Man movies. It's like I'm already there. That's my childhood. There might be things I disagree with and that I might not love, but I'm still ultimately going to love it. But I hope a shooter grabs me this year and glues me to my monitor, and uh, let's hope that happens. Treyarch, DICE, 343, blow my mind, please. Halo Reach Remastered. I'm pretentious enough to be a Halo YouTuber, aren't I? I don't know. Now, I will say this for my next hope, that 2017 was disappointing for gaming uh, in a lot of ways for me. I know there were some great games, games I haven't played and games that I have played, I know. But there were some shady business dealings, there were some bad game launches, there were some underwhelming, but I guess acceptable launches. So people have a right to be mad, and people have a right to defend the things that they liked. But in 2018, no matter how bad or how good gaming is, I hope we can ditch the mob mentality. The mob mentality in the gaming community makes me hate it. Because when I make videos about it, it's like I'm outnumbered a thousand to one on each topic. Nuanced, middle of the road ideas about video games are out. There are very few gaming channels that indulge in that anymore. And some will go towards common consensus to the point that they straight up lie or spread misinformation. I'm sure I'm guilty of this in some ways on my channel, but this is one of the reasons I stopped watching YouTubers, is because they started influencing my opinion and giving me negative pretenses to games that I wouldn't have had already. I hope in 2018 I don't see people mass turning against a game or company without being able to explain why, without being able to go into at least a two minute description of what the fuck they're angry about, or on the inverse, loving something and praising it as one of the best things ever and not letting anybody critique it, not being able to describe what's so good about it. Again, I hope I see nuanced, important discussions about gaming. Mob mentalities, meme mentalities, whatever game is the correct game to be playing by determined by meme culture, that will hurt the gaming industry overall because developers know they can get away with pretty much anything. You can sell unfinished broken games, just say pre-release and you'll, you'll make a billion dollars because it's the game all the YouTubers are playing. And with certain franchises, you don't have to innovate or expand or fix it because people are already enjoying it. 
It's already a meme, it's already a goof, a gaff, a laugh, it's everything everybody's playing, you know? It's the thing everybody is playing, that's the better way to say that. I hope I see less of this. I hope we are able to nitpick games where it counts, not be so overly critical that we can never be pleased, and not be so blindsided by pure hype that will take on anything. Or at least, at the very least, and this is what I'm trying to do for myself, is being able to admit when you blindly love or hate something. Being able to admit when something just isn't for you. You just don't like it. When there's a game out there that you don't like but you can't put any words as to why, or your arguments about it don't make any sense, you just have to admit to the people you're talking to, whether it's on your channel or on Twitter or with your friends, you have to be able to understand, it's just not agreeing with me. And like I said earlier about Kingdom Hearts, I know I'm already biased towards it. If I did a review on it, it would be, this game's amazing, buy it. My only criteria for the game is that it has hours and hours of content, fun and intuitive fighting mechanics, which I've already seen throughout the gameplay. It looks a lot like Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm not really worried about that. And then just provide me the music and characters that I love and enjoy, so that I'm already, I'm already predestined to love it, okay? And I'm able to admit that. So I hope we can talk about things in that way. We either create logical, nuanced arguments, or just admit when you're a sap, or you're a, a hater. Just admit it. This, I'm gonna convince you that this thing you love is trash. I'm gonna convince you that this thing that you hate is amazing. Oh, this is the best thing ever. This is the best thing ever. This is the worst thing ever. Let's take some middle ground. Let's, let's take the good and the bad. Let's appreciate. Let's analyze. And I'm gonna try to do that more this year. So my two hopes for this year are that the gaming community can be a little bit more logical, a little less trigger happy with their opinions, and a little less guru seeking. You don't need a YouTuber to tell you how to think or how to feel. I heavily encourage you to not have that mindset when watching my videos. I'm not here to tell you how to feel, I'm here to tell you how I feel or to create discussion. And of course, hopefully entertain you. And then of course, I just need a game that glues me to my screen again, I haven't had it in a while. I haven't had it in a while. There were games this year that I played that got me playing for hours and I loved it and I enjoyed it and then it was like, okay, I'm done. You know, it's not gonna be something I revisit constantly and that sucks. I want something with the volume and the weight that I, I don't know, maybe I expect from playing shooters when I was a kid and maybe I'll never reach that level and maybe I should lower my expectations a little bit for myself as to how I'm going to feel when I play a game. I can't expect to be always swept off my feet, but I hope it happens. So those are my hopes for 2018. Less mob guru mentalities, meme mentalities with gaming, and a game that glues me to my monitor. What more could you ask for? I don't do New Year's resolutions. I'm not gonna put the weight on myself. Oh, oh, tomorrow's January 1st. That means I have to be this person now. I have to look like this. I have to dress like this. I cleaned my room. I'm cleaning out my files on my computer. I'm taking a deep breath and I'm coming back to YouTube and doing the thing that I always do. Don't put so much pressure and weight on yourself, you're only human. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.